Art students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again with another video, and this one is going to be the one. This is about the abs, how to do the abs, because oh, everybody wants their character to have these big abs to be jacked. So this is the one for you guys. So without further ado, let's go do the male. This is the male figure. We're going to do the female abs next. So let's go and get into some male abs and make your character look jacked. All right, let's go. All right, let's let the battle begin. This is going to be the abs. This is going to be the dreaded abs. And right off the bat, let me show you this. You see how my camera goes light and dark? So it's it's one of those weird things that we'll have to deal with today. So hopefully it won't be so bad in editing. All right, so first of all, we're going to start out with the torso. I'll try to make this one a little bigger. Now, this is why I showed you the torso first. You have to know this in order to continue to do what we need to do. So, oval, separated, T, bottom of the chest, circle, or half circle, mountain. Right? And you don't want to make it too narrow like this. You don't want to make it too wide. You kind of have to gauge for yourself. Then you want to do the, uh, uh, the side, point, point like that take this out go ahead and put your shoulders shoulders your your delts the v this probably won't it won't affect the abs but at least we are you have you know the parts that you want to work with so bring that chest up like that now where your this is the v here if you do like a, a triangle and it's usually to this point right here at this corner of the chest and you go down curve it down like that that is where your ribs are going to go that's where your yeah your your ribs are going to go so if you did that let's see if it's going to be the outside or the inside all right so it's going to be on the ends this inside this outside so you want to do like this kind of like a fang like that and that is where your ribs are going to go. You got a one, <clears throat> not, not down so much, but you're going to go one, two, and have your three ribs. One, two, and your three. And these things are like points, like an arrow pointing, or like a point. And remember, the one key thing that you need always remember is that this whole thing is round, all right? So let me get to this little piece of paper. <clears throat> this whole thing is a circle, okay? Looking from the top, this is your head. This is not, you know, a snowman circle, but looking from the top. So anything that's gonna go around it is gonna go around, okay? So you just keep that in mind. You try not to draw flat. So from here, you want to go down. You want to go, and this is the tuna can. For those who, who know what I'm saying, the tuna can is this or hockey puck. Yeah, so that would be a tuna can, and you have your label, chicken of the sea, tuna. So that's the shape of your, your, uh, your waist, because you have your oval here, and then the round part right here. Actually, it would be more there so just remember the whole thing is round so you want to do here you don't want it too short and too long and that line is that line crooked again yes it is it's going up the hill brian and then from there you want to do your upside down house now you have to you have to gauge it you have to gauge the whole thing because you don't want it too long you don't want all this too long but you don't want it too short so from here, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. All right, I'm, ed I'm edi editing this a lot because I'm trying to, to show you some different things. All right, so look, we have this, wherever this is, this little diamond here, we have this. This is your lat right here. This is gonna come out, so past this, your lats are gonna spread out a little bit more. And then it comes to your your uh, ribs, and I'll, I'll ink this in, a, in later, and you'll you'll see, you'll understand. This is how you get your character nice and jacked by that 
that um, nice size uh, rib. So coming down here, we want to bring this in. We don't want to go straight down. So at this point where the chest turns, we want to come in like that. So let's erase this and this. So you have this and that. Now at this point, I could bring this up a little bit more, which let me just, just do that. Still on this line here. And I'll put a little V down here. And if you look at the first one and you see the skeleton, there is a little bone that comes down here in the skeletal structure. But because of that, I always just put this little V right here. And then one that just, it kind of tells me where my center line is. So let's erase this. And you don't have to lift yours up. I'm just lifting mine up just, just for the sake of lifting it up. Because I want this close. You want it close to this chest, the bottom of this chest. Not too far away, but you want it close, hitting it. Not hitting it, but close to it. All right, so I know this is crooked because, as I say, my lines are crooked because of the, the way that I hold my paper, the angle that I hold my paper. And nobody's um, abs are the same. Nobody's abs are perfect. Not everybody's abs are just straight across like this. Some people have up here like this. They're, they're crooked. So that's a good thing to do when you... Um, do your characters if you have like multiple characters don't make them all the same body structure that shows like attention to detail everybody's arms should not be the same uh size everybody's you know legs should not be the same size or height the neck you know there should be a lot of differences in your characters so we have the straight line here now what i do so when this comes around this point to this point I'll, I'll, I'll remember it's it's all a circle don't have it straight across just imagine this line going across a ball so from this to this what I'll do is I'll bring it in I have the curve like this but then I'll bring it in same thing for here and I'll kind of come from this point down and swing it around like that just like if I'm doing that and that gives it more of a um, coming in kind of shape and I hope this works out. I'm trying to see why my light is so, so dim. Hopefully it works out. When I have my hands on the paper, it kind of works. And then the same thing with the other one, except I don't bring the other one there. I just kind of, from here, bringing it from that line to there. Now, after this, you have, it goes down like that. I want to stop every now and then to let people catch up. Now, your once your, your waist comes down, this is your obliques or your love handles. It comes down like this. You have your waist, and then it comes down and in to this piece right there. So right at your belt, it's going to curve in. But don't make too much of a fuss about it. I mean, if you can get away with it, without curving it in that's cool but I usually do it just to let me know where the muscles are I mean if you're gonna have a belt on the person you won't see that anyway as this is kind of like a habit for me to do and then this line comes all the way down because you have this is like a big muscle here and that is one right there so as I say this curves in like that now you have your oblique muscle it comes just like this it comes all the way up like that now these ribs here I'll do these but I don't do the other ones now let me show you the picture the um, thumbnail picture which is right here now see I don't draw the I rarely I mean if I do 10 drawings I may do one drawing with these ribs but you see how these point here and the ribs connect underward, that's what you have to do. And I said once, this is these, these are your lats right here. Everything behind this is your lats. So everything behind this is your lats. So this is going to, actually, you won't see that because the arm is like right here. So you really don't see that. But remembering that's a curve that's going around your back. So you have this. Let me show you this. You have this one. 
this, this make it a point, Brian. And then this one, make a point, Brian. I don't know what, why you can't make a point. Now, the same way is when you have the opposite. You have this, this, your rib. This, this, your rib. This, this, your rib. So they kind of interjoin each other. So that's the same thing with this. So you're going to have to come down like that, right off of that, that point. Like that. And I believe there are four... Because sometimes you see um, certain artists that have the six pack, but then they have another right here. And that's because of the way the bone structure is. And it just looks good when you have that extra extra ab right there. So, but you can't get it in the way of this. This is it's, it's right there at the top of that. So you got to get these things right. Right there. One, two, and it comes all the way down to the abs. Three. Four, so you have these connections, and then after that top one, that's where this part starts. This little bony muscle starts. So if you're drawing your character face forward, you got to get it kind of um, what do you call it uh, in the military, where everybody's lined up and it's perfectly uniform. You got to get it uniform. That's if this is more of your pinup, you know, or your character design or whatever. You got to get it uniform. So I don't want to make that lat too big yet because these arms have to come down. So we have this. We have your, your, your obliques. Let me see. If I get another color. Your obliques are going to come follow that same line. You have this one, this one. And where is it at? It's going to be like here somewhere. My, I'm off. One, two. Yeah, there, like that. And then you have that other one here. One, two. Here. And then your obliques follow the kind of like that same line. Like that. Hopefully you can see this blue. So right here, right here, right here, and then your obliques like that. But as I say, don't get caught up in that unless you're drawing like super, super, super ripped kind of, you know, with the uniform. So right here we have this, the abs coming down. Now, do, 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 do. let me finish this because I want to do some more angles. Usually because I do this little V here, I'll have this part like that. And for each one, I have that V or that diamond kind of coming around to show you that it, they, they come together and they tuck in and to leave that little space even here. Not so much here, but I mean, I do have it here, but as I say, you're going to have that covered up. Usually people will have a belt on. And then the same thing here. You curve it around. Here you curve it around. Here you curve it around. So that's half of a um, half of that diamond, which would be a triangle. And then you give some little extra dark line here to show that it is going into this little space. Like that. And your belly button is like right about here. And then I say this is a muscle that goes actually down into your shorts. And then you you always want to draw the house. Just draw the house. Don't try to draw the actual part because your leg muscles come up. Let's see this. You have this. And you're going to curve here. You're going to have room for the man jump. So it's actually, it's like... It's going to follow. All this is going to be the leg right here. It's going to follow and curve around. Let's open his legs up. But right here, here, this part right here, this is the, the part of your buttocks right here. This is where your buttocks start to curve around. So it's just best to draw just a leg there instead of drawing it coming in and then jumping out, jutting out like that. So it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just better to just draw the whole leg. And the thicker the leg, the more powerful the character is. Uh, remembering that you have that muscle here and that muscle there. And we'll get into legs later. But we're into abs right now. So because this is out so far, we're going to do the arm, the arm, the, the, the um, delt. And 
If this is crooked, forgive me for that. Because as I say, I draw on an angle which throws my lines off. Can make this neck a little wider. And then the head here. And then of course, this is gonna come in and it's gonna to come to that point. And that's gonna separate your bicep from your tricep, which is right here. So again, collarbone this is going to come up and into this. And I have to focus this camera because it is so blurred. Separate your bicep from your tricep. Elbow and then right there. Let me focus this camera. Stop this camera and do it again. All right. And you should definitely notice the difference between clarity because this is just, this is a, what is this thing? This is a, um, it's my phone, camera phone, and it is a Galaxy. Um, not the 9, but it's a, it's a, I think it's a J7, I think it is. So, yeah, it, it starts out good, and then it starts, it wants to blur on me. So let me, since it's jumping, let me go to my screen focus. All right. So, I'm trying to think. I think that might be it for the ads. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ink this real quick. Starting with the abs. This is going to be a really quick ink. This is not going to be no, you know, publish your comic book inking. It's just really quick because I don't want it to go too much over 30 minutes. So you can kind of see what I've coming out with. And the way I did it, you see that they're kind of rounded. There's not flat. So each line is rounding. It's, it's actually tucking into the center point here, which is like black. And the same thing with that one. It's coming out, it's tucking in and it's coming out. And this actually goes all the way down. So we have your um, obliques, which go all the way down. You have your... This is the round part. This is your actual rib cage. And then after that, you have your lats, but your, your arms, your arms come and then they cover that up. And if you don't want a really like bulky character, you make the arms just a little smaller. But I don't know, I'm just making a powerhouse. I don't know why. Oh, I'm gonna get the arms, I'm gonna start inking with the arms in there. So you have your ribs, and you see this. Some of this is going to be a shadow, especially when it's um, with the arms down, with the arms down, curving, curving, and the obliques are the same too. The obliques come up like that. So here's your arrow, and curving, 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 curving. And as I say, it comes all the way down to this part, which this part is like sunken in. So it should be like a black sunken area on the side. Like that. And then of course you have your waist. And don't I remember it was one guy who he had he was really he had really good drawing ability, but he always drew the waist like this and he watched my videos and then he would draw the waist like that and then have the legs come out like that i mean he had the stomach stomach was perfect but he had his obliques were just fat they were hanging over the uh the side and i told him you know just straight down straight down don't have it hanging to the side and i don't know if he just took that and ran with it or just got mad and never wrote back because I do help people online when they, they write and they, you know, ask for help. I told them, tell them, send me some, some of your work and I'll go over what you need to change or what's right or whatever. 
So after I told him that, you know, his obliques were just fat. I didn't tell him like in a bad way, like, oh man, your obliques are fat. You can't draw. I just told him, I just said, slim these out. Don't have this hanging over. After that, I never heard from him again. So I don't know if he either said, okay, Brian, that's great advice. That's all I needed. I'm good now and left. Or if he got mad. So one cannot say. So the chest curves around like this. And you have this little V there when you like really, really tight. It's kind of in, it's in an indentation. And then some parts you will see the bottom of your collarbone. And then of course this is of course this is round again. And then your shoulders. Hopefully you can see this guy, this uh, and then that, that, that big old piece of meat right there. Because that's just a big piece. The shoulder is kind of like. And we covered all this in the other thing. Your shoulders like this, basically that is just a round piece of fleshy meat that sits on top of, you know, your shoulders. So yeah, everything is round, nothing's flat. And then your neck, your neck actually comes in and it goes in like that. And then you, cause you're, these things actually wrap around the back of your neck, they go up and then they go around the back of your neck. So this is why your neck pushes in because these come up and they go up. And then this is the round fleshy meaty part right there. Yeah. All right, so we have this and then we can do you from here, you do your legs. We're not gonna get into legs. We're gonna get into legs later, but I wanna do just a piece at a time so that you guys can, um, Start drawing your top, then your middle, then your bottom, then we do your legs and so forth. And then when we finish the anatomy, then we'll start getting into um, panel stuff. And of course you have from here, this goes behind to up to your ears. Yeah, and then men with their little Adam's apple, if you wanna go that far. All right, so let's do one from the side. You want from a side, three quarters, three quarters from the side, because you're not going to draw all your people that way. So, <clears throat> always with the oval. And since this is the side, notice I drew the oval kind of like at an angle instead of just up and down. Light and dark. Yeah, I want to get some track light. So, this is my center line. Same way all the time. This pencil don't need sharpening, not yet. And then so now the thing about this is I can bring this hip down, the waist down, but I can't bring it right here because that's too narrow. So what I'm gonna have to do is bring it over. And this was the part that I was trying to show you um, earlier, but I didn't wanna do it with the front because that would've changed the whole thing. So when this comes down, this is going to be your obliques. This comes, this comes all the way up. This is how you are actually, the little piece is kind of made like that. And you're going to always have obliques on the other side like that. And then you're going to have this and then it's going to come in like that. I know that's kind of a lot to, to take in. So let me just do it again without all the extra rigmarole. Oval. Uh, direction line, top, collarbone, top of the chest, bottom of the chest. If you can't, just put a point right here. If you can't do the circle at this angle, put a point right here and do like a V uh, or, yeah, upside down V or mountain. And then just kind of round it off without it touching. And then there again, you already have this. You have your arm, which is going to come, that's going to cover this. And you have this part of the arm right there. So remember, this one's going to come down. This one's going to come out a little bit. So when I do my abs this way, let's, let's do this. Let's, this is your belt. And this is the upside down house. So you want to basically get your body as long as you want to. Now, if you want to, usually the big, thick guys are shorter for some reason. I don't know why big, big stocky guys are a little shorter and the tall ones are more narrower. So let's bring this up. This one's going to come out and up, give them some chest, curve in there. 
And then as I say from here, you want to go in. This one's not going to come straight down. This one's going to come in too. You're always going to see a little bit of that um, oblique unless you turn it just a little bit more. So this is going to come like this in and then down, which as I say, you don't have to sweat that. What I have right here without this, it's fine for you to continue to draw your character. But just letting you know, this is the obliques are right here at your belt and it comes down. Same thing as this, it comes out and then down. Rounding it off, leaving you some room for the man junk. So now if this is too far out, bring that in right here. And you can have this black bend because it's, it's gonna curve into the body. So again, it's round, everything is round. One, two, three. So make sure that's round. Center line, uh, like I said, I use, I'll give it my little V right here and then in. And then I'll bring this up right at this line. I'll bring this up to give it that extra, that extra ab look. This one, instead of having a straight down, I have this first one come in. So we have these, this one, I'll have it come in like this to give that pull in uh, um, effect, like his stomach is just, you know, sucked in, he's good. And then I'll round it off and I'll go straight flat again. So I'll curve these out, curve round these off on the edge, curve these up to where it tucks in. Same thing here. And remembering you're leaving, you remember you're leaving some space you're leaving space right here. Curving that up and in, up and in. There's my six, and then it's the one that comes down in here. Now, as I say, I usually don't do all the extra ribs because uniforms covers it up. Um, it's not really that necessary. And when you're drawing a small character, you remember this is you're going to have panels so when you're drawing a small character like you know whatever you're not going to you're not going to have space to you know see your your ribs but you will see this your chest you know your your, your abs if you choose but you won't have space to see all that extra oh, I keep going high sorry you won't have space to see all that extra you know detail uh... I don't know why I'm drawing this, but I'm just drawing this. So if this is my character and this, this cat is that small, you're not going to be able to see, you know, you might, these, those three, but then you're trying to put everyone in there. It's just, it just looks a mess. So don't, you know, don't worry. Cause as I said, once you put your uniform on this guy, costume, whatever, then, you know, nobody's going to care. So yeah, this is good to go right here. But just in case you were one of those hard heads from this point to like this right here. And then remember the the fang. Because the arm is going to come here and then you. One, two, and there should be a third one here. And there's your obliques right there. And then, of course, the top of this one. And then you have your, your extra bone muscle. Did I ink that last? I did, I did. Okay, so yeah, so your lats, after this, your lats are gonna come out. And as I said, you're gonna have your, your delts and your arms are gonna cover a lot of that up. Cause these go 
back. Yeah, remember to keep your chest round, your shoulders up, your neck, and your head, however you want your head to be, whatever direction you want your head to be tilted in. Shoulders, and then that. And of course, again, as I said, your legs are going to come up like this, and you're going to have some buttocks right there. And then your legs come up into that. The more you turn your around, the more of the buttocks you're gonna do. And my camera, I guess I could push my camera forward so that I keep doing this because this is my comfortable hand position right here, not down here. So maybe I'll cut it and I'll just think twice about how my camera's positioned like so. And once you learn this, you know, once you get that down, th th these things right here, your arms and legs are just like, you know, this is the hard part and then twisting it and so forth. So we got the side. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. So if I twisted this guy, where it's going to bend is right here. It's going to pinch right here. You're still going to have this. This one's going to stretch. So if you have your abs, it's going to be like this, like this, and like that. It's going to, it's going to have those three. Well, this one might be kind of big, but we'll go with that because it's going to pinch together because this part will not move this part will not bend and this part will not bend because this is your bone this is this is of course this is your your skeleton and this is your what does that thing look like your your um hip bone what does it look like i'm trying to see it from here kind of like this like that it's got a little hole in it but this is all bone so it's not going to it's not going to move just this part here. And that's why a lot of times when I draw, if you look at my old videos, I'll do the top, you know, the regular way. And then sometimes if I don't do the tuna can, the, just this little part for the waist. And I only do that when he's straight, when I'm drawing a character that's straight up and down, then I'll do that. But if he's bending, I'll put the ball here. That way I can come straight down. And if I want to twist it somehow it's like putting a you know a line in the ball and then the rest follows and then just put the hips up in the ball somewhere and remembering that the point is going to be at that point in the hips so yeah that's just that's how you do it so it's easier to put a ball here than a tuna can because you can squish a ball but it squishes like that let me see if i can ink this and have it halfway looking like something remember this part is not going to move you're going to have this here, and then you're going to have the squish. As I said, how did I say? It's going to be here, and then here. And you have a little pinch in the skin, and then you have this part, and then your leg. So if this guy was, you won't see that oblique won't jump out like this so if this guy were can you see that okay i'm getting sunlight so let me close my curtains hold on one second all right so maybe that has something to do with my lighting as well let me cut this side light off and see how good that is i usually don't have the side lighting on but i had it on for whatever reason so if you like if you this guy he was throwing somebody he was throwing like pick the guy up and he threw him like that way same thing here here's your elbow here's your elbow so if you threw him that way, so he would have to bend 
his waist that way. Same thing with the other, other way. So just remember, when you pinch, it's going to go like this. One, two, two, four, six, yeah, like that. And then this part is going to be the, it's going to be the rib, and this part is going to be the waist, hips, waist. And your meat is going to pinch right here, probably in that center, in that center ab, kind of like this. And then you round, let's say it's gonna stay around, but it's just gonna it's just gonna pinch. And remember it everything is round, so same thing, it's round. Don't make a flat line. Try to try to remember that this whole thing is round. Everything on it is round. Even the legs. This is why I constantly say to people. Do your shapes. You need to practice with your shapes. If you haven't mastered your cylinders and your um, uh, rectangles and all your other things, then you're wasting your time if you're trying to do a comic book because everything is round. Well, not everything, but you know what I'm saying. You know, square. Somebody said he wanted to do the learn how to do hands, and um, I have an old video that I did on hands, and it's still up. You know, thank goodness. But you know, you've got your square here, basically your square, your your um, round cylinders, and then your thumb is round, and then this, you have a separation. If this is your palm, you have a separation in your palm. You have the two pieces, you have the one piece, the fat piece that comes to your thumb. And then you have this long piece that goes to your baby finger, your pointer finger, middle finger. And it's, everything is a shape. You have to learn your shapes. You have to learn your shapes. 22 minutes. Uh, did I cut this? So I guess we're, we're running up on the 30 minute mark. So just because, and this is what, this is what gets you when I try to ink stuff. Let's say this can be black. This little if weird connection. It can be black. No big thing. Because it tucks down. Suck that in. Bring that out. Bring that out. It gives that guy that more defined ab look. Belly button is like at the bottom of your third one. This comes down here. Your your obliques. Keep them. If you can, just keep them in line like that. Don't have them sticking out. You know more than. They need to be, don't have them sticking out, period, because it makes your character look fat. Like that. So, and as I say, from this point, if you want to do your ribs, come down like that, and that, that line, make that fang. And then underneath of that, you have this, and this is your oblique right here. Same thing on the other side. You're going to see that piece of that oblique. Two, three, your ribs. And then, was it the top one? And then you have your this piece right here that gives them that extra, extra looking, you don't have to make the circle, you can split it like that. It gives them that extra looking ab. Uh, front side, side profile. Let me get another piece of paper and do a profile. I think I just ran out of paper. Hold on. And let's do the part back of this. Let's do the back of this little piece right here. Profile. As I said before, I always tilt my character back. Let me show you. I tilt him back like that. And his head comes up. That gives him that with his chest is sticking out more. And he's just, you know, just a bad boy. You know, instead of going up and down like this. And then his head is like this. And his arms are like, you know, this. He just, he just looks... He just looks timid. So always go with the angle, like so. Head, head comes 
up from the spine, the neck. You have you always have this piece. People don't don't really get this. You have this little piece under here, and then your your skull, your cranium. So if I ink that real quick, because your ear is on that line. And you have this piece that comes back to your neck. That's the part I'm talking about. This little shadow part right here. Your shoulder, this is your shoulder. It comes up here and it goes behind your, your neck. Your collarbone is going to be right here. It's going to come, comes across. And then here is your delt, your chest. It's going to come off of this bone. This is the bone part. Whenever you draw this, this, this represents the bone. The, yeah, just the actual rib cage, not I was going to say collarbone, and it comes up and it hits here where this is and it goes back under the arm. Your lat comes down this way. So your lat from your back is going to come down here. So you're going to have this little piece right here. Your chest is here. You have this little piece left over, which is this, and then you come in and it's going to go around because you have that opening here. This is what this is from the side. So then you see some, some, um, your abs. Yeah, your abs. And then after this, you have your obliques here. This comes back, your obliques. And then you have your, your hips, your bone like this. Can you see this? And this part goes down to the man junk into the legs. So again, Here's your little fang. Point them. And usually you see three because they go back and then you do that. But as I say, and your obliques come all the way up to like that. So that's a profile from the side. And of course, you know your arms are going to come and cover a lot of that up. I can find my brush. Splits. Like that. You might not have the collarbone sticking out this far, but you have your neck. And your collarbone tops that off and you, it sinks in a little bit. And then there's your neck. And then, as I say, you have that, that, that muscle that comes right up to your chin, which is your neck. And this, your shoulders are here. Your shoulders go down into your back, and that is your traps. All of this here goes all the way down to your back. Let me see. Because when you, you're not going to, from the back, you're not going to see any of this unless you do a hard turn. So let's say if you do this, this is your, this is your neck, this is your head. This is, this is your shoulder, even at that, okay, your chest is going to be about right here. You're going to see that you won't see much. You probably won't even see that much. But as I was trying to say, your traps come here and your collar, collar your delts and your delts come down and then this like that. That's your traps. All this is that muscle that goes there. It's like one big piece. Because your, your delts fit. This, this is all your delts right here. And then your arms are, are your arms, are you, how do your arms go? Your arm, yeah, your arms right here. Because your back, is, your back is here and then your arms are there. Not way up here. And then you have your lats, which come down. I think it, how is it like, it comes down there because you have that V. It comes down to, what am I doing? Yeah. Your spine it comes down to your what do you call that? I just lost it. This your obliques and your buttocks and your legs. But yeah, this is what I was trying to do. You'll see some of that oblique right here because this thins out. You see the oblique and then your legs start here. You might not. 
And then if you, you do see, you might see a little chest here and maybe a little ab there. But yeah, that's it's it's a puzzle. That's all it is. It's just a puzzle. The more you study it, I got uh, every day I look at my um, comments and I still get people like, oh, that's so hard. That's so hard. Number one, stop saying it's hard. It's not. It's just it's the first time you did it. It's like playing the piano. It, the first time I do it, I'm not going to make a bust out a song. But the more I do it, the better it gets. I have to learn the keys. And then you have some shoulder. I have to learn the keys. Once I learn the keys, then I can put them things together. But it's, if this is something I really want to learn, if I really want to learn how to play the piano, I'm going to go ahead and mess up a hundred thousand times, but I'm going to keep practicing until I get that song right. So you have to, you have to stay at it. Don't say, oh, it's, it's, it's hard, especially that one video. What is it? Something also oh simple. Drawing anatomy also oh simple. It's on the very front of my, 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 my channel. And I think that's got like half of half a million views now. So, but it, majority of the people, say oh it's hard it's you're going too fast you're going that so i did a second video to that i redid that drawing and i slowed it down and i did detail about it so if you if you're one of the ones that said oh that the one that's oh so simple is not simple there's another one and, and i try to answer all my comments that uh that you send me and i'm starting to send people when i answer a comment i'll send you a link to go right inside of my channel the page on my channel because most people go to that front page and they see that one that's like half a million views and they look at that one and then they'll say, oh, that's great. Or I wish you did want to show me how to draw hands or how to draw legs. And all of that stuff is in the channel. So that's why I'm sending the link to the inside of my channel so you don't have to go search anymore. But the bad thing is YouTube will only let you put so many videos up. So if you they only put you, let you put, let's say, 100 videos you can put up. So every time you put one video, a new video up, they take that other one down. So a lot of them are being taken off because every time I kick out a video, something else is being taken off. And this is why I started to redo this series because I started earlier, but it's getting close to when it's going to be taken off. It's still floating in the web somewhere, but unless you know the exact title or unless you put my name up in there to find it, you, you won't find it. Especially for those people that are just too lazy to go into the channel itself and find out what I have there waiting for them. So that's why if I answer your question if you send a comment I'll, I'll say thank you very much or you're welcome or whatever and then I'll leave a link directly to get into my channel so you can see all of the videos on YouTube so yeah so that's that's the reason why I'm doing that so that you can get helped and my camera just reached its full point and it shifted you to a shift and now it's recording re-recording again so on that note hopefully you got it you got a side back which you won't see um, three quarters. It's the same way if you flipped it over. Uh, the twist, and let's just say if you bent down, same thing. If you if you bent down, let's just do this. If I'm bending a person down, I'll do this. It's kind of like doing an uh, uh, a straw. Let's just say a long straw, and it's or pole, and it's you'll see the side. If you're looking straight down his neck of it, you won't see nothing. Maybe with the inside. Like that, you see the opposite side, but if you start bending it over, you'll see this side. Same thing. So I'll do this with a person. So let's just say his head is here. You see piece of the neck, the collarbone, chest, and this part right here. Can you see this? This part right here, this little heel, you'll see it right here because it's close to that. Let me do this. You're able to see it. Let me do this in, in a pen just in case I screw it up. Also, you can see a little better like this. And of course, as I say, this is one piece. You have that and your shoulders which come around. Remember that one big piece of meat here? This is that diamond. So you'll have this rib cage right here, the, the, the V for this rib cage. And you may see the first set of abs, depending on how much you bend down, you see the second, but they get close. Then up in your body, up in the body, you are going to see, you're going to have the hips area. It's not going to be down here like this. The more you bend over, you're, you're covering, how can I say, you're covering, you're covering that when you bend over. If you're standing straight up, let's just do this. If you're standing straight up, 
you'll see it like this. This is your head. But once you bend over, and I'm going to use a square, this part bends, so you're, you're covering this part here. So you're only going to see, it's going to be behind the body, and that's when you draw through. It's like drawing through. It's called draw through. So you only see this. This is that classic Wolverine stand or attack position like that. So, But you only see just a bit of the um, abs. And you might not even see the belt because the belt is going to be somewhere right here. And then you'll have this little part of the side of your hips. And then remembering everything is round. You have your legs and then your arms. Everything is round. Everything is round. This is the opening where you stick your hand and then except your hand, your hand is not round. Your hand does have a little curve to it. And then if you do some thumb. Yeah, so just remember, it's all round. Work on those shapes, work on those shapes. Moving your head and round. That's the top of your head, center. So yeah, on that note, at 36 minutes, hopefully it'll, I can chop some of it off. It won't be exactly 36 minutes. We'll leave it at that. So hopefully when I was drawing this, I wasn't way up here and you could see it. So just remember that. If, you're, if, you're, if you start getting flat, then your whole picture is going to be flat. So you want it to be round. Even if you're drawing, just stop and you know just add a few lines and make sure it's round. That way when you start putting like your belt and stuff in there, you can say, okay, I follow my round or my, um, my lines. For being round and this is where I started to run into longer videos by continuing to show you guys stuff which is good same thing this chest is round so if I'm putting you know whatever on it the guy uh, uh, um, what he calls things like suspenders or something and then I put a strap around here maybe put some you know military grade straps or something on them it's all round. It's got to be round. And I did a video on that, keeping the body round. Except for when you have your gun. Your gun is, you know, it's not round. Unless you got a round gun. So, yeah. A lot of, no knowledge, lot of knowledge to learn. A lot of knowledge to learn. So, I'm going to end this video here. And, um, as I say, if there's something I forget... I try to put it in the next videos. So yeah, that's your your that's your jacked figure. Follow those steps. Your figures are all be jacked. Remember, don't have every figure. If you have a team, don't have everybody the same size. Don't have all your abs the same way. Spread them out. Make them straight. Where is that one at that I, that I showed you in the last video? This. You don't have to have every muscle. This guy is good enough to be, you know, just ripped and a big superhero, you know, without that. So if you have like multiple characters, have one that's just jacked like that and have one that's just, you know, pretty good. Like um, if he's a runner, he's going to be more lean. If he's like a power lifter or the big guy, he's going to be more like that. So if you can have one character like this, one character like that, one character like this, you know, then you're doing good. Then people will see the detail and the attention you put into your, your drawings by making all your people different. So it's like a female, one to have big breasts, one can be a flat chested. It's just, you know, do what you gotta do. All right, so I'm gonna end this video because I'm gonna start rambling and that's my um, thing for 2020, resolution, not to ramble. So throwing in the pen, I'm out, this class is finished. I'll see you in the next class. All right, keep drawing, bye.